Hi, welcome to The Gainsplainer. I'm Jeff The Gainsplainer and today I'm Gainsplaining Lucidity. Lucidity is a four-player uh, game of nightmares uh, that plays in um, probably 30 minutes to 45 minutes depending on how heavily everyone's playing. Uh, it's a one to four player game. Um, I'll be straight up with you. I know the designer of this game. He's given it to me to do a game explain of. Um, so please remember that in what I say. Um, I think I've said this before, but I will continue to say it. I want to be upfront and honest with you guys. Um, I do know the designer. I like the designer. Fortunately, I really like this game. So um, that isn't tampered by the fact I know him. Um, Lucidity is getting launched on Tuesday the 13th of June on Kickstarter. That's 2017 for anyone who's watching it in this in future years. I hope you watch this in future years. Um, if you're watching this and it's 2018, please comment below. Let me know that you're watching stuff that I've made a year ago. Um, that would be awesome. So the Kickstarter is launching 13th of June. Um, that's Australian times. Um, in America, that's probably on a different day. Um, I don't know, time zones. You can work it out, I'm sure. Um, but when this launches, it should be up. Um, I'll put a link below to the, uh, to the Kickstarter uh, so you can just get over there. The game is a dice throwing game. Um, or a dice collection game, a di what's, what's the words I'm looking for here? Um, it comes with a big old bag of dice. Um, and look, honestly, who doesn't love a bag of dice? Look at them all. Dice, ooh, colourful, pretty. Um, and they are actually really nice looking dice. You'll see them a bit more in the other games, uh, in the other game explains. Um, when I go on to actually do the games plan uh, and, and the playthrough. But oh, I love games with heaps of dice. Um, we, we would prove that in Roll for the Galaxy. Uh, a big bunch of dice on the table. It looks fun. It looks exciting. Same deal. In this particular case, they're in the bag. They're not spread out on the, do on the, on the table, but it looks exciting. The play of the game is, in essence, you're dreaming. Uh, you roll... A certain number of dice and you press it's a press your luck game so mm -hmm. roll them you're either going to get points a symbol that will tell you that you're tired um, sorry I should say you're either going to get a number die which is power um, or a Z symbol which tells you that you're that you're exhausted um, or there's one of the colored dice has a, a symbol which pushes you more towards dying uh, if you get I think it's three of them four of them um, you'll see in the video um, you actually die and you're out of the game um, I haven't seen anyone hit that mark yet by the way um, in all the games I've been playing no one's actually yet died and been forced out of the game before they've managed to do anything um, the the other symbol is this little eye symbol, which which indicates that the uh, this nightmare or a certain type of nightmare has kind of taken you over, and and there's a part of the board that so everyone's got their own play board. They're putting these dice on. Part of the board tells you that you need to do something whenever you put a die on that. Um, <clears throat> There are four different types of, of nightmare at the moment. Um, everything I'm working with, by the way, is, is a prototype, so it's subject to change as things develop and, and grow and, and more people get behind this and um, give input and influence over what's happening. It's a pretty much a solid game. Like, it is a solid game to start with. Um, it's fun to play. Um, but you've got these four nightmares, um, and if any of the tracks on that nightmare side fill up, that player becomes the nightmare and suddenly they're playing against the other players. Um, the game will finish if everyone becomes a nightmare. So if the fourth player or the last player standing is still not a nightmare, it keeps going, keeps going. Um, the other way the game finishes is if someone gets to 15 power on the board. So those numbers that I said earlier, they just drop down the bottom. Once that's up to 15, game over. Um, if you're a nightmare, you have a skill. So if anyone rolls the colour of die that lines up with your nightmare, so there's the four different coloured dice, and that's the four different coloured nightmares, blue, green, red, and yellow. Um, if, yeah, so if, if someone rolls, if I'm the red nightmare and someone rolls a red and rolls the eye symbol, I can take that and put it onto my board as powers. So adding up to that 15. Um, that's that's pretty much it. You, there's there's the option. So each player in your turn, the option of three, um, three rolls, and you can you press your luck. So if you've taken um, five dice to start with, you're going to take six next. 
and roll four of them. Then you'll take seven and roll five of them. So that's where the pressure luck comes in. You're pushing your luck to try and roll as many dice to get as much power out of it without the nightmares taking over you, unless you actually want to be taken over by a nightmare to become a nightmare um, because you think that's another strategy to winning. It is, in essence, a relatively quick pressure luck dice rolling game. Uh, if that's if any of that is in your wheelhouse, I really strongly urge you to back this game or at least have a deeper look into the game. The artwork is absolutely beautiful. Um, it makes me smile whenever I see a picture of this game coming across my, my Instagram feed um, because it's just really intricate and beautiful to look at. It's a little bit dark in theme, but beautiful to look at. Um, so, I, if you've got any comments or suggestions, please write them below. If you've got any games that you wish to be games playing, please shoot me an email at thegamesplanner at gmail.com. If you're a designer and about to launch a Kickstarter and you would like me to do a video for you, please also send me an email. Uh, I'll happily, happily help you out. Please follow me on Instagram or Twitter to see what games I'm playing. Subscribe to my videos to see what games I'm gamesplaining. And until next time, enjoy gaming.